Hey, I will hey. tell you right now, Kiersey, it is great to meet you, Ken. It's great to see you again. Likewise, Hi. brother. I'm going to give you both an award uh, as we get started with this. Uh, the award is for the best outfits. Hello, your characters have the best outfits. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were talking about me right now. I was like, you know what? All right. These are baby gaps. I love it. They're sensible yet stylish. Not baby gap. Baby gap for an old man. That's well, the rub. That's the irony. I got I that baby energy. That's what keeps me going. I'm an old man with baby energy. That baby energy. I got that baby energy. That's a problem. <laughs> Crank it up to baby. Well, I was referring to Dino Mud and uh, Dee Dee Sykes, but that's okay. Can I? Oh, okay, Dino Mud. Yes, a lot of yes, a lot, a lot of glam on that. Yes, a lot, 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 a lot of. Glam. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we're 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 easily along with Blue Falcon. I would say we're the Project One Way of the Scooby Doo universe. Mm -hmm. I think we're best dressed. You know, yeah. Thank you. It's good. Thank God. Really appreciate you, Dave, for noting noting that. When you both found out that there was going to be a Scoob movie, you know, we're introducing or we're going back to see how the characters met, how they got started, that kind of thing, kind of a backstory. What was your first reaction, you both, when you first found out you were a part of this? I love I love origin stories, so I really didn't yeah. know how Scooby and Shaggy, you know, came to be. So I thought that was great. And then watching it with my family, it was like, oh, okay, this is it. It, it really is a great uh, bookend for my childhood because you, you you got that in in continuity you know so it, it was really nice to see the orange story so well drawn too well animated mm -hmm. yeah. all right before i leave ken uh on fox 26 here in houston can you give me any mass singer gossip finale's coming up anything you can share you know as the dumbest judge of the mass singer uh is probably you know they don't you know, they could even give me the spoilers and I still would, would, wouldn't be able to communicate that. So let's just say, it's, <laughs> let's just say it's a uh, season two reference. Let's say it's Bjork. Everyone's Bjork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever leave the judges table and go and become a mass singer yourself? I actually did one in Korea just to promote the U.S. show um, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. And I got a feel for how difficult it is to sing under that outfit. And it was nerve wracking and I really respect all the, any contestant that trusts the show to do that and be in such that heavy costume and, and be able to sing and perform and dance. It's incredibly hard to do. I, I just, just tip of the cap to everybody who's done the show. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs>